When we talk about factors of production, factors, this is chapter 44. When we talk about chapter of factors of production, we're talking about resources that help in the production of goods and services. Resources that help in the production of goods and services are the factors of production. So we call them economic resources anyway. So we move on. Let's check. Four factors of production. Production involves converting resources into goods and services. These goods and services are provided to satisfy the needs and wants in people. So, the resources used by businesses such as these are called the four factors of production. So, we call them factors of production because they are the resources that help in the production of goods and services, like I said earlier. So, they are the inputs. Yeah. So, these inputs are what is used in process, that goes in processing to give us output, which is goods and services. Yeah. So, we start, the first factor of production is land. Businesses will need a plot of land to locate their premises. So, land is fixed in nature. It is important for whatever we do, whatever we produce as a business. There's nothing we want, there's nothing like production without the factors of production. Mm. Teaching involves all the factors of production. Sure. Whatever goods or services, whatever it is that involves production, we have to use factors of production the land, the labor, the capital, and the enterprise. So, for land, whatever we talk about land means anything on land, like, like the mountain, the rubber plantation. Uh, the premises, they are all land, natural resources. That, I think land is clear. Yeah. Businesses would not be able to operate without having a land, yes or no? Yeah. Then we have labor. When we talk about labor, we're talking about the workforce in the economy, people that work for the company. Without workers, we can't even have organizations. They, who, are gonna, who are those that are going to you know, carry out the operations? So workers are the labor. Do you understand yeah. what labor here is? Mm -hmm. Then we have the skilled workers. We have the skilled workers who are those that are educated. We have the semi-skilled. That goes for maybe uh, technological or technical, and we have uh, we have uh, unskilled mm. who don't need uh, education or training to even carry out their jobs. Sure. I think you get. But in as in respect of whichever one it is, they are all workers, and they are important in the factors of production of labor, which is labor. Clear. Mm. Then we have capital. For capital, we have uh, the say capital is often said to be an artificial resource because it is made by labor. There are two types of capital. We call it we call capital artificial. What? Uh -huh. We call capital artificial resources because it is made by people. Mm. The laptop is capital resource. It's capital. The phone is capital. There are resources. The, 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 it is produced with the use of natural resources, but it is produced by people. Mm. So that's why we call capital what an artificial resources. Is it clear? So we are, is it clear, please? Okay, yeah. So we have the working capital or circulating capital, which refers to stocks of raw materials and companies that will be used up in production. So we have the working capital or circulating capital. These are what we use in the course of operation. Mm. That is working or uh, working capital or circulating capital. Sure. We use them in the course of operation. Then we have the fixed capital, which involves the equipment, the machinery. They can last longer. So these are the things that carry out the operation. These are the things we use in producing other, op other goods. So we call them the fixed capital. What's Is the difference clear? between them? Circulating are used day to day. Mm. Fixed are those equipment we use oh. to carry out those functions. Not like the laptop. Mm. Laptop is fixed. Mm. Equipment, machines, premises, mm. shops, offices, furniture, they are all fixed. Yeah. They are not the same as working capital. Mm. The, the working capital example is stocks. The cash we use in operation, yeah. they are working capital. Sure. Is it clear? Yeah. Do you know the difference between them now? Yeah. Sure. Then the last one is enterprise. For enterprise, we're talking about the office of an entrepreneur, the mm. company, the business itself. Mm. So that means that is where we have an entrepreneur. So who is an entrepreneur? The person setting up the business. The person who has, who has taken that decision to set up a business. That's sure. an entrepreneur. I think it's clear. So without them, production would never take place. What are, then what, let's talk about the role of entrepreneurs here. One, they come up with a business idea. So they are the one that comes up with this idea. And this idea, they want to make, they want to make a business out of it. So mm -hmm. the business idea that they've come up with, they want to start selling from it. Mm -hmm. So that is what they come up with business idea is. is do you get the point? Mm -hmm. Two, they are business owners. They usually provide some money to help set up a business and are responsible for its direction. So they are the owners. They direct the business. They bring out the money to put into the business. Sure. They are risk takers. Why are they risk takers? They are risk takers because they are putting their own money into the business. Yeah. The money that might not come back. Mm. The business might go bad. The business might go bad. Might go bad, you know. Mm. So what happens? Everything is everything is is gone. They are responsible for organizing resources. So 
they are the controllers of all other factors of production. So they are in charge of land, they are in charge of labor, they are in charge of capital. So that's why I call them the organizers of all other factors of production. Clear? Clear. That's factors of production. Yes, Any question about factors of production here? No. 